Hey folks, welcome back to my channel and today is the first video of Halloween that I'm going to be doing and I'm just going to be creating a simple pumpkin sort of sign. It could be used with resin, it could be used with jasmineite, there's all sorts of things you could just paint it um, and have it decorate in your house somewhere. There's loads of things you can do. So to start off I'm just going to resize this face and get it to um, sort of look good within the pumpkin itself there. I'll zoom in so you can see it a bit better. So I'm just using the corners there of the selection box to resize. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the control shift and A key to bring up the alignment box there that you see and then just center align the, the face within the pumpkin. Once that's done, now press control and K to combine both the parts so that they are all one shape. like so all the nodes are the same basically and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to check some parts just to make sure what size they are make sure they're not too fragile that they won't snap when we're making it so simple way to do that is just draw a simple wee circle and then you can see at the top of the screen it's got the sizes and that circles 2.3 ish millimeters across so we're just going to move that across and just check all the parts and see if there's anything that needs adjusted and then we'll go in with the nodes tool. So on the left hand side of the panel just below the arrow you can see the nodes editing tool you just select that and that means you can manipulate all the individual nodes on the, the image and make fine adjustments to the, the drawing or the creation that you've done. What I'm doing here is just making those a little bit thicker so it's going to be a bit more substantial when I'm cutting it out and we don't have any fragile pieces for snapping and stuff. So now that I'm happy with that, what we're going to do is going to copy this just by pressing Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V to paste it next to it and then we're going to press Ctrl, Shift and K to break it apart. The reason for this is because we want just the outline um, for the backing board so Ctrl, Shift, K separates all that out <coughs> and then we can just select the back bit, Ctrl, X to cut the back piece and then select the bits we don't want and just delete them and then control V to paste that back piece back in and then we're just going to use the tools at the top there to twist them 90 degrees each and then align them roughly and then use the center align tool on your right hand panel there just so we can get them bang on and they're going to take up too much space on the material now that I'm happy with that then we can jump over onto the laser and start laser cutting so now we're in Lightburn and we're just going to Control V to paste these images into the Lightburn software and move them to suit. And then I've already got preset, so once we've got the camera set up, we'll select the correct power settings from the material library down below. And you can see I've got it saved to 6 mil MDF because that's what I'm cutting, and then cut. And then you just press the assign button, and then that changes it. But what I'm going to do is just check that there. I'm happy with the power settings. Um, I know from the last time I did MDF that that's correct. Uh, make sure the air assist's on. And next we're going to just frame it on the board. Just so we can check the placement there and see where it, if we need to make any adjustments so we can move it. Uh, check that it's using up the less amount of space as possible. I decided that I needed to move it a little bit so that's what I do. So now that I'm happy with that then we can just crack on and get a laser cut. We're not going to beat about the bush, I will speed it up but to start with I forgot to focus it so I had to stop the program and then refocus and then start it again which you'll see me doing now.
Now it's all cut out then, we're just going to pop it out. You can see how easily the Mira 9S cuts the 6mm MDF, it really does it no problem at all and it's also very satisfying just watching those pieces pop out. So what I do to, for alignment is I use the, the excess cut out pieces there and I'll just pop it back in and then use it to line up the nostrils and then pop it back out. I actually forgot to lift a piece out, that's why I had to lift it all off. And then I'm just using my knife to lift that piece out. And there you have it. So yeah, you can see it could really be used for a multitude of things. Um, you could definitely do a, a fill on that with some resin or some jasmineite. You could just paint it. You could give it to your kids for crafts. Well folks, thanks for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you found it helpful, please do drop me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks. Bye.